I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. And this piano, we just barely finished it up um, a couple of days, a few days ago, I think. Um, and it turned out uh, beautiful, and it, and it plays well, and it sounds good. I'm really happy with, uh, with the final product. Um, the goal, of course, even though this piano is, is only a, a 2000, which, um, as I make this video, 18 years old, is not very old at all for a piano. But nonetheless, there are some things that, that need to be done on, on pianos, things that, things that show up that, that never, ever get taken care of, even after like five years old, 10 years old, 15 years old, things, things definitely show up that, that need to be done. So um, this piano, of course, is no exception, but, uh, but it's, it's back to as close to brand new as, as possible, which is, I think we did, we got pretty close. So why don't I play it real quick and we'll talk about everything that we did to it. That's a good little piano. Um, I think would I think would work really really well in a um, in a situation where um, where maybe space is an issue. It, it, it has just a teeny tiny foot, foot, footprint. A lot of people tend to go to digital pianos when they when they have um, little space. But this is like such um, leaps and bounds, light years ahead of a digital um, for a lot of reasons. Um, touch and tone being the being the main two. Um, I'm a I'm a firm believer in uh, in the the real piano action. The touch is so much more nuanced, so much more precise, and it's uh, it just feels so much better. You can manipulate uh, a piano with a real action much much more so than you can with what I refer to as a counterfeit touch of a digital piano. And then the tone, same thing with the, with the digital piano, you have, you have uh, the sound coming out of speakers. And on an acoustic piano, even a small one like this, you have the entire back of the piano that's the soundboard, and that's what's essentially the speaker of the piano. So, so as I see it, uh, this piano being an alternative to a digital simply because of size, it's so compact. This is a much, much better alternative. It just sounds so much better, and plays so much better, much more satisfying. I mean, it's an acoustic instrument, plus it lasts, um, uh, what, eight or 10 times the, the uh, duration of the expected lifespan of a, of a uh, digital piano. So in my mind, it's a no-brainer. Okay, so that aside, uh, to give you, give you dimensions, um, 43 inches tall, uh, from the left, left to right, it's about the same as actually any other piano, digital piano, or even a large grand piano. This dimension is about the same, just under five feet. And then out from the wall, um, it's, it's quite a bit smaller. Um, actually, would you, Dawson, would you grab me a tape measure real quick while I um, do this? I'm, I'm guessing it's right around 20, 22 inches or so, or something like that. So, so pretty small. Then on the... Uh, on the inside, what we've done is we've done a full cleaning, um, a full, let's check this out real quick, 20, yeah, 20, 21 and a half inches. So, um, so, so really a compact design. Uh, okay, so full cleaning on the inside, we've tightened up all of the action, which is basically all of the guts, everything, that, kind of the engine, I guess, of the, of the piano done a full regulation, so that's everything from ensuring that the distance you can depress the key is correct to ensuring that the distance from the hammers to the strings 
is correct to the distance that the hammer pulls away from the string when I play it. That's supposed to be an eighth of an inch. That's a quick way. I would assume you're in the piano market if you're watching this video. That's a quick way that you can evaluate the regulation of a piano as you can you can play it, see if it gets to within the eighth of an inch. You know, when you play really, really um, softly like that. And then there's a little bit of a bump at the end of the keystroke where that hammer pulls away from the string and, and it should be consistently an eighth of an inch like it is on this piano. And there's a number of others. That's probably the easiest one for, um, for kind of the layman that doesn't do this every day to just check out on their own. And then of course the pedals. Everything in this piano is as close to brand new and perfect as we can possibly get it, just with the price tag um, significantly less than a brand new piano. So performance and touch, cosmetically this piano, I would, I would give it probably, a, it's, it's in very, very good condition cosmetically. It's, it's, not, it's not perfect, perfect, but it's, but it's really, really good. Probably a, an A or an A minus, something like that on the, on the cosmetics. Um, so yeah, I feel, I feel good about this piano. Touch, tone, and it's gonna last a long, long time. Come check it out for yourself at the store at 1497 South State Street in Orem. Mm -hmm.